Hello, many thanks for joining us for today's edition of City News Daily on CTTV. My name is Zoe Apubedu. In this edition, President Ekufuadu launches the free senior high school policy with the unveiling of a logo. We have the details of this and many more stories coming up shortly. Stay with us. So our first story where President Ekufado officially launched the free senior high school policy today in Accra. The policy becomes operational from tomorrow, September 1st. The government says per the policy, first year students who gain admission to public senior high school this year will have their fees and feeding paid for. Subsequently, the policy will be graduated to cover all students of senior high school. Unveiling the logo for the policy, the president called for support for the program. Let's still stay with the presidency because the presidency has confirmed receipt of a petition from one Douglas Seydoux for the removal of the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Madame Charlotte Osei. The eight-point petition was filed some two weeks ago. The petition is demanding the removal of the EC boss over alleged breaches of public procurement practices, corruption and conflict of interest allegations. Speaking to City News Daily, the director of communications at the presidency, Eugene Ahin, said the president Nana Ekufado has forwarded the petition to the Chief Justice Sophia Ekufu. Away from that story, and the Ghana Federation of Labour says organized labour is embarrassed by the scandals that have rocked the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIT. Even though the SNIT board has issued a forensic investigation parallel to the Economic and Organized Crimes Office investigations into the 72 million dollar scandal the ghana federation of labor maintains that labor must get competent people to represent its interest on the snit board speaking to city news daily president of the federation abraham kumsin called for a complete restructuring of the national insurance trust and its management to avert any such scandals in the future this week we have brought you stories of students who are brilliant but are in dire need of your support to help them further their education to their tertiary level. This move forms a part of CTFM's campaign to raise 250,000 Ghana cities to sponsor 50 students who are deprived under the City Opportunity Project on Education. Your donations are still welcome and can be sent to the MTN mobile money number 0550 Zero zero six and Vodafone cash number zero two zero five nine seven three nine seven three checks can also be written in the name of City FM Foundation. Alternatively, donations can be made at the front desk of City FM located behind the Adabraka police station. Meanwhile, City FM's three day fun trip holiday getaway kickstart tomorrow the crew is excited and ready to give participants all the best of experiences at the beautiful and serene volta hotel in akosombo and that will be all for today's edition of city news daily on city tv my name is zoe abubedu many thanks for your company and barakadisala to all muslims out there do make a date to that same time next week.